guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It's not date or time specific, so whenever you come upon it, if it speaks to you, it could be your message at that time. Welcome all cross-watchers for Aries. Always keep in mind, sometimes the energies can come through reverse, especially for cross-watchers. That's fine. And for those of you who are brand new to the channel, happy to see you here. Welcome aboard. Okay, I'm pulling from Cosmic Journey Oracle to activate the reading. Let's see what message you get. Card 20, out of the mess comes elegant order. That is your message on this cosmic journey. Out of the mess comes elegant order. I love that. Pardon the noise that you're about to hear. Um, so far, I've had lawn day three days this week, so I'm not sure what's happening. Um, but if I stop talking, it's only because I can't hear over the lawn mowers, edgers, leaf blowers. You get it. Anyway. Okay, so I'm going to use a Twin Flame Soulmate Spread. Do a check-in on where things stand with you and your beloved. Here we go. Present Energy. Ah, Ace of Swords. So something being revealed, or uh, maybe there's an epiphany, an awareness, something coming to light, a truth coming to light. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. Lovely. Oh my gosh, Aries, this is so beautiful. I'm really glad I chose this. Now, just so you know, as I record this, um, on May 18th is like the luckiest day of the year. Okay, so Saturday, May 18th here in the States, it is when Jupiter and um, the Sun are conjunct. I know. So very beautiful day, full of good blessings, abundance, expansion, good luck, good fortunes. I just wanted to say that. So it doesn't surprise me to see the Ace of Swords, something coming to light or being revealed. Um, your present energy, like where you're at on your journey with this person, the sun. There's a focus on happiness, on success, on feeling safe and protected in your vulnerability. Um, sort of blooming where you're planted and your person is in the energy of judgment which is about second chances maybe seeking forgiveness redemption um, it can be a card of reunion and reconciliation but to me it's coming through as them answering the call answering the call on a spiritual level of this connection maybe you're both seeing that very clearly now you know the you belong together kind of a, a theme now um your karmic challenge here aries is for some healing four of swords their karmic challenge four of pentacles is very guarded energy so it's interesting that you're both sort of in that four you know, numerologically, fours are about structure. Think of the four sides of a square, right? You're, you're kind of trying to get, get, get everything squared off, squared away, um, create the beginnings of a solid foundation. So for you, it doesn't, I love this little card with these little babies there, right? Getting, getting the rest you need, the reflection, sort of um, uh, reevaluating, reassessing, um, re-aligning um, to your path here and your person with that four of pentacles it's almost as if there's something really beautiful beyond that frame um, that they won't let you into and so there's a guardedness there um, that this person is working through uh, the opportunity is the King of Cups, which is emotional maturity, availability, a deep reservoir of feelings, and divine guidance is Six of Cups. Past life soulmate, twin flame energy, beautiful message of warmth, comfort, nostalgia. I kind of feel like you're coming home to each other. That's how I'm seeing it. It's not that you don't have things to work on. Um, but you're, you're matched energetically in your karmic challenges. And I just love seeing this 
coming home to the happiness, to um, reconciling anything that needs to be reconciled, but it's like answering the call. You're both sort of rising up at this moment. I love it, okay? So let's jump in. Yes, I just remembered this. Out of the mess comes elegant order, and it does feel like there's something being repaired here, um, and yet also being um, seen maybe with the for the first time. Ace of Swords. Hanged Man. Two of Swords. King of Wands. The King of Wands underneath is interesting because it, you know, to me the King of Wands doesn't hesitate. And we are seeing the um, Hanged Man, which is hesitation, which is sort of almost a, a pressing pause to sort of um, evaluate the bigger picture, right? The 30,000 foot view. The Hanged Man does represent a temporary standstill, but it's also a matter of um, surrender right? Do we stop or do we surrender to what we're learning here? What, you know, what information is coming in? It's an important decision. And the King of Wands underneath suggests to me that on some level, there's a, a, um, an energy rising within you that wants to take the action, that doesn't want to hesitate, that wants to sort of surrender to whatever is being revealed here, could even be energetic. Um, but the Two of Swords is a crossroads moment lovely the sun for you seven of cups the lovers three of cups yeah um possibly lots of options to consider um and that can kind of cause some frayed emotion some overwhelm um but i feel like you have no illusions about the nature of this connection and the, and the choosing of some form of reconciliation, coming back together with a cause for celebration. So I'm not seeing the Seven of Cups in a, in a negative sense. I'm seeing it here as there's a lot to process, pretty much um, in an immediate sense, but your choice feels like it's already been made. And um, you're trusting in your you know, the sun is our vital force energy. It is our confidence. It is um, how we step into the world. And it feels like you're going, yeah, uh, there's a lot going on here, a lot of options, a lot to process, but I've made my choice. This person makes me happy and I want this reconciliation. I choose this sacred connection. For your person, judgment. Mm-hmm. Wow. Well, I feel like this person is um, working to, again, reconcile this, both these cards, Three of Cups and the Six of Wands can be cards of reconciliation. So can the Judgment card. But what's coming through, remember the Judgment card is associated with the planet Pluto. Pluto is the Lord of the Underworld. The world card is Saturn, the great teacher and the Lord of Karma. So it feels like this person has, something has come full circle and they're answering the call of the past life soulmate and seeking that win-win outcome, that, you know, uh, forging some form of peace between you, reconciling differences. They don't wanna be without you. They don't wanna be removed from you, apart from you. And I feel like there's um, some underlying sense of loss. Yeah. Especially if you've been sort of um, taking a break from each other and maybe this person is coming to some sense of a realization that they don't like being on the outside. They don't like that. They want to be in the heart of the soul of this connection. Wow. So let's look at your karmic challenge with the Four of Swords. Eight of Swords, Magician, Empress. Um, well, 
in your unconscious awareness, there's so much you're open to, but it feels like you keep second guessing yourself. So your karmic challenge is to kind of get out of your own way, to manifest the healing needed so that you can come from the highest and best energy of this empress. It's Venus, right? So it's about um, not living in fear of being hurt, focusing on the healing that you need, reevaluating or reassessing the situation, but from a position of a sense of mastery, like, yeah, okay, that didn't feel great, but I learned a lot. And so I can open myself up again. I don't have to second guess. I don't have to overthink. I don't have to come from um, self-limiting beliefs. Um, so that's what you're working through in your karmic challenge in your person is also guarded. So you're both working with guarded energy just from a different point of view. Queen of Pentacles, Justice, Nine of Pentacles, so this person um, definitely has you on a pedestal, um, sees you as confident, self-sufficient, and I feel like there, there might be a little intimidation factor there. Um, justice coming in with some energies of balance and harmony, almost like, you know, when you say to yourself, oh, this is too good to be true. And so you kind of go into self-protection mode, right? Like, how could this, like this person can't be for real. They're too dependable, they're too beautiful or confident or, right, self-assured and reliable and, you know, just love the energy I feel when I'm around them. It's too good to be true. So I'm going to hold my cards close to the chest. I mean, that's literally what I'm seeing here. Um, because they do feel good in your, in your, in your um, sphere. There's good, solid, grounded energy there. They look up to you. Um, but as a result, they have to work through their tendencies to block their heart chakra, to not let you in, um, right? Someone who has their proverbial stuff together can be intimidating. It can be intimidating because then they have to live up to the best that they have to offer. Um, so it's it's interesting what I'm seeing here is really kind of lovely. And um, let's go to the King of Cups for the opportunity. Eight of Wands, Four of Swords, Knight of Swords. Talk about how you feel. Talk about how you feel. Make sure that you are clear, unambiguous. Where do you need healing? What have you been reflecting on? What have they been reflecting on? We need to clear the air of any misunderstandings, right? As you're working through some healing and getting out of your own way, of your own self-limiting beliefs, this person has to work on dropping their guard a bit, dropping that center pinnacle so they can enjoy the stability you bring in their life. It just feels like if you talk about the feelings, if you talk about what you are available for emotionally and what still needs a little healing, it will help you bypass any misunderstandings or clear up previous misunderstandings. That's really great. So let's look at Divine Guidances, the Six of Cups. High Priestess, trust your intuition. Wow. Um, I do feel the reunion coming. I feel like divine timing, fate, destiny, bringing you back together trusting your intuition, not holding anything back. Sometimes high priestess can be a little secretive, but it feels to me like if there's been any period of, of no communication or very little communication, or if you feel like you're not getting the full story, sometimes high priestess, right? She doesn't talk and she can be a little bit mysterious, but in this case, it's coming through as now is the time to communicate. Now is the time to come back together, to resolve any issues, to repair any problems, to um, reconcile any differences, to reunite, to overcome, to get a second chance, because that's, your destiny, 
just really beautiful Aries. So I love what I'm seeing here for you. I'm going to take it to the extended. So if this speaks to you, um, yeah, follow me and we'll take a deeper dive for you, Aries, with your person. Um, let me go ahead and tell you the astrology. And for all intents and purposes, I feel like your person here, I'm looking at the um, King of Cups. So that's what I'm going to refer to them as. And we're going to kind of dive in a little bit more for um, what they're going through, what they're processing, etc. Okay, so that's what the extended will be focused on. The sun is the sun, which rules the sign of Leo. We have the lovers is Gemini. The magician is um, Mercury, which rules Virgo and um, Gemini. The empress is uh, Venus, Libra and Taurus. Over here, we have judgment. Judgment comes through twice. That's Pluto, which rules Scorpio. The world, as I said, is Saturn, Aquarius, and Capricorn. Um, Capricorn and the Queen of Pentacles. Justice is Libra. Nine of Pentacles is Virgo, by the way. And then we have um, High Priestess, Pisces, Energy. Jupiter in the Wheel of Fortune, which, remember, is sitting with the sun um, on the 18th. So very lucky day. That uh, rules Sagittarius. Judgment, as I said, came out twice. Hanged man is Neptune, very spiritual, rules Pisces. King of Wands, more Leo. King of Cups is associated with Scorpio. And more Gemini with the Knight of Swords. So that is what I have for you. Um, really beautiful um, update for you and your beloved. And the links to the extended are below. Remember, one is a monthly renewal where you get access to four different collections and the one below it that says one time extended. That's just for this reading. I will see you there. Bye for now.